On the basic principle that nobody is perfect, I recently made a video that made reference to the German word Schweinhund. And a couple of you pointed out that I got that one wrong. The word is actually Schweinehund with an extra syllable. Oops. You see, I got confused because you often see the word Schweinhund in English language books and movies about the Second World War. It's what Nazi officers say when they want to insult an enemy soldier, as in SILENCE! Schweinhund! The writers got it wrong, you see, and so now everybody thinks they know that Schweinhund is an insult in German. Still, it gave me an excuse to make a video on this subject, and so I started to do a little bit of research. One of the most important resources is Duden, which is a collection of reference works for the German language. And I was surprised to find that I hadn't made a mistake at all. According to Duden, the word is usually Schweinehund, but Schweinhund is listed as an acceptable variant. A very rare one, but acceptable nonetheless. Both forms are, though, old-fashioned, and you won't ever hear anybody using it as an insult these days. But where did it come from? Well, it begins with a type of dog sometimes called Schweinehund, but more normally called Zauhund. And if you remember from my previous video, Zau is quite simply a female version of a Schwein. Anyway, it wasn't a specific breed, but it was any breed used for the hunting of wild boar, literally a swine hound. Wild boars are big and dangerous animals, and so the dogs were there to chase the boars until they became completely exhausted, and then hold them there for the hunters to move in for the kill. So a Schweinehund came to mean a person who would annoy and harass you until you became exhausted and just couldn't take it anymore. You know the sort of thing, a person who would just constantly plague you with criticisms and insults, never missing an opportunity to be mean to you. It was a popular word among students in the 19th century, and by the 1930s, Many of those students had grown up to be politicians. In 1932, one of them, Kurt Schumacher, made a speech in the German parliament in which he said that Nazi ideology appealed to the inner Schweinehund. His use of that word caused such a stir that the meeting actually had to be called to order. The phrase der innere Schweinehund is still used today, but it's no longer offensive. It's when you are too lazy to do the right thing. You know you should go out and feed the starving millions in Africa, but on the whole you prefer to just stay at home and watch TV. That's your inner Schweinehund. So conquer your inner Schweinehund and go out and do some good in the world. Just as soon as the weather clears up.